Well, let's straighten up a couple things before I even start the video. Me and my crew make thousands of dollars a year doing this, and we don't live in Vegas. I'm not selling some stupid book or course or anything. Everything you need is in this video. This isn't the same tired nonsense you've heard everywhere else for the last 20 years about, oh, sign up for the club and go on this day and get a promo and oh, make this one bet under this one tiny circumstance. Now that's piddly little money. We're, we're going after big money here. And also, it's not illegal. It won't get you kicked out of a casino in all likelihood. Look, no promises, but casinos are pretty well aware at this point that one of the most common machines in the world has a little bit of a logical design flaw in it. And they don't really care either because it just doesn't affect their bottom line. Two years ago, I made 47 trips into a casino and 47 of those resulted in a profit. Uh, I believe I took in 30 some thousand? How would the casino not care about that, you may be asking? Well, before I reveal all the secrets in this completely free video that I'm just putting out there for everybody's use, I would like to politely request that you watch the entire video all the way to the end. You're going to think you know how this works about two minutes into the video, but it's a lot more to it and you're going to need to know the rest of the information as well. So I believe we have an agreement. Let's proceed. So let me introduce you to what I believe is the second most common poker machine in the world, Ultimate X Poker. Newer, slightly different variants of, I'll just say multiplier poker have fixed this drastic design flaw because duh. But my understanding is once you make a game and then uh, name it, then you have to like not change it. So they're not going to rip out every UX machine. It's not worth it. And it just does not affect the casino's bottom line. You might think, but, but you always win. Wouldn't they care about that? Look, you'll see. Just watch the video. So let me just pull up like a digital copy of it. Here's how it works. So Ultimate X is a variation of video poker. So let's just start with that real quick. If you know how to play video poker, skip ahead like a minute. But you get dealt five cards. You can keep zero, one, two, three, four, or five of them. Um, you're going for jacks or better bare minimum on this machine. So, of course, jack and a king. I'm hoping to pair that up. If I get two pair, I get two times my money because I'm betting five. So you can see the payoff is five, ten, fifteen on up. And if I were to pull, I don't know, jack, jack, king, we'd have a full house. And I'd get 45 on my bet of five. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Two pair, two to one. I'm already winning. So you've got your hand, the cards you keep. And the pay table. There we go. Two pair again. Wow, I'm doing amazing. So this right here, oh, look at that, is three line poker. You get dealt one hand. And of course, I'm betting 15 because it's five per line. Um, and I already have a winning hand. Jacks are better. Look at that. Let's see if we can improve. And on the middle line, we got three of a kind. On the top, we still had the pair. And on the bottom, we still had the pair because that's what I kept, of course. But you basically get three shots at it from three separate decks. So, you know, it'd be wonderful if you got dealt like four of a kind because then you win three times. Otherwise, it's just more shots at a long shot. Like that right there could have had a fourth nine in it. So this is 10 line and you could imagine what the difference is. There you go. Kept a pair of threes, pulling a couple trips. There we go. 165 on 50. Not bad. So that's regular video poker, and you have to understand how that works at a basic level to understand Ultimate X. So this is Ultimate X poker. It looks a little bit different in casinos, but uh, you'll see some real footage that I actually shot. I think it'll really impress you. Like I said, watch till the end. And usually it'll have three line, five line, and ten line uh, available with just different pay tables. Like this is more four of a kind heavy, but it's all just poker. Deuce is wild is a little different, but if you still got to look up how to play video poker, you know, this ain't the video for that. Just go look it up real quick. You'll learn it in ten minutes. So you want to select the max amount of hands. In fact, you actually have to. And then you might say, oh, well, that's the max bet. Uh, you know, 25, five per hand. Here we go. We're playing poker. Yeah, but you're not playing Ultimate X poker. It says bet max credits to activate the Ultimate X feature. So that would be double. And here's how it works. There we go. Okay, we got a pair of eights. Oh, we got two pair on the bottom. Uh, didn't pull anything on the top. That's pretty bad. But uh, next hand, 3X because I got a two pair. Here we go. King and four, let's go. Hopefully I can get a house right there. It'd be nice. King or four is a full house. And I didn't pick it up anywhere, but we got two pair on every line, obviously. So now every line is 3x, but you could see from that last hand, I got a 3x multiplier. So this pays 30 instead of 10. Now, how does that work? Well, you're basically paying five for this game and then five credits for this game. So if you win on the line, you get, you know, if it's jacks or better, 2x on the next hand if you win it on that one line. Two pair, 3x, you know, three of a kind, 4x. It goes up and it's a little different in the different versions, but uh, flushes and houses can be pretty lucrative at 11x and 12x and even straights. So I switched over to three line just because it's easier to track what's going on here. Okay, we keep that. 
I got one pair, so, you know, 2x next line. Okay, let's see if we could pull, you know, something. You really just want two good hands in a row, preferably on the same line. Uh, two tens. Oh, boy, rough go of it. Holy cow. Oh, there we go. We need a four and nine for a straight. Let's see if we can pick one up. Heck, yeah, we did. So that's a big 7x. So we want to get a winner on this line. Let's see. Oh, uh, two aces. Too easy. I've already won. Look at that. So didn't improve anything, but look at that big win. It's only my five credits back, but it's 7x. That's 35. So I got 45 credits on a 30 bet. Not bad. And then the next hand, I have 222. Now, speaking of that... If you're paying double, 222 is basically the baseline to break even. I mean, minus like the 3% edge on this game for the casino. So if you're paying double, you want double on average, but once in a while you get 7 and 12Xs and 11Xs, so it all kind of evens out. But what about this scenario? Okay, first, I thought you guys would appreciate that. Okay, so I kept two fours. We got three of a kind in the middle, two pair on the bottom, and two pair on the top. Fours and aces, fours and fives down here. So that's 3x, 4x, 3x. Well, that's a 233% return on my money, if I did the math right. Um, So in theory, I should come out ahead on this. Let's find out. Ooh, maybe not with those cards, but you never know. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's 60. That's 15. Yes, I made more than my bet of 30, and that was expected to happen. Now, I could have gotten garbage and lost every line, or I could have gotten a four of a kind right there. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine. That's ballsy. All right. Oh, didn't win that time. So you might be thinking, oh, I'll, I'll look for somebody leaving the game in that exact scenario. Wrong. Let me set one up for you real quick. But what if you just got this piddly little 2x? Well, you certainly don't have an advantage. In fact, you effectively have a 66% disadvantage on the next hand. But what if I decided I don't want a disadvantage? I'm not going to play Ultimate X. I'm going to change my bet to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Surely they're not going to let me do that, are they? Yes, they are. So, wait a minute. I'm just playing regular 5 coins per line poker, but on this line, I've got a double advantage. So 133% return on just any 2x multiplier that just sits there. Yeah, that's correct. And don't call me Shirley. So wait, you just cut your bet in half and you get the full advantage of the multipliers that are here without paying for them? Oh my. You can see where I'm going with this. And where I'm going with this is the rest of the games. But do not leave the video yet. Watch it until the end. You do not have all the information you need to make the maximum amount of money. I cannot stress that enough. So what if you were to go back to the menu and just say, let's let's see what's going on with triple play. Oh, somebody left 444. Yes, I'm the one who left them there. This is a simulator. But uh, let's go to three hands, five lines. Here we go. I legitimately have a 300% advantage over the casino if I did the math right. I don't care if I did the math right because it's relevant. I just know if there's a multiplier, I have an advantage. The end period. Let's see if I can pull the uh, flush. Oh, there we go. Right there. 4x on a 15 bet. I just won 100. Let's check the next one. Nothing. Let's check the next one. Oh, 10, 10. <laughs> okay, I probably shouldn't have left that. I'd say that's not realistic, but look. St. Patrick's Day, Christmas, New Year's, 2 a.m., bar close. People have left 12, 12, 12, okay? They aren't the brightest. <laughs> We've seen it multiple times. I wouldn't call it the norm, but some people really don't know how to operate these machines. <laughs> oh, let's see what we can get. Whoops, 7-7. Seven, seven. Ooh, that is some money. Let's go on to the next one. All right, deuces, 2x, 2x. That's pretty normal. All right, I'll go to five here. Oh, two deuces. Oh, that's lucky. Oh, <laughs> Pulled the Royal, the dirty triple deuce Royal. Hello, that's some money. Well, let's move on to the next one. Nothing. All right, move on to the next one. Nothing. Move on to the next one. Uh, next one. Nothing. I'm pretty fast with this with the mouse, but, well, I'll show you a little secret later in the video. Here we go. Three, 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 four. Okay. Ooh, bullets. Nice. Let's go. So that was pretty average, I would say. So on 10 line... It's almost impossible to lose every single line. So unless somebody literally knows that they can roll their bet over manually, which like I said, I went over 10 years without knowing that, then 10 line is almost always going to have some kind of multiplier on it. Now, out of the 10 lines, a single 2x, that's you know 10% effectively. On a 4% edge machine, you've got a 106% return. Am I going to play it? Heck yes, I'm going to play it. Am I going to expect a mountain of money? No, not really. But it's still an advantage. An advantage is an advantage. And I've seen people leave like 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, and then like a 12x. They got like a full house and they just got up and left. And I'll take it. Yeah, that's that's a, what, a 200% advantage? 
a little higher, somewhere in that neighborhood. Which means that if this is $50, for every $50 I bet at a 200% advantage, I would be expected to return $100. And you know how they say, the more you play, the more it evens out? That is correct. Except I don't mean in the house's favor, because nothing we're doing is in the house's favor. So you would play one hand each and check to see if every single one is occupied. Now let's say that was nickels. Now we switch it to 10 cents and we start over. Check it, check it, check it and check it. Now how fast can you do that with your fingers on a touch screen? And the answer is don't, use the buttons. So these are the buttons on the average machine, but they're not just deal and hold buttons. Uh, deal is effectively enter. Then we've got a uh, left hold being go left, right hold being go right, and center is change bet. But also left hold is exit the game that you're currently on. What does all that mean? Well, I'll show you while demonstrating just how quickly you can check an entire machine. All right, so this goes fast. All right, we're starting with triple play. All right, we're going left, left for exit, move left, then draw for enter. So we're just going left, left, enter, left, left, enter, left, left, enter, looking for malts. And this is technically a slightly different machine, but you get the idea. Use the middle to change it to 50 cent. Check and check and check in. It is that fast. Want to make even more money? I hate to sound like a broken record, but watch this video to the end. But I wanted to interrupt real quick to remind you to leave a like on the video if you already like my work so far. It took, I think, over... 50 hours to shoot and edit this? Yeah, 25 if it was me being a perfectionist, but oh well. But um, I would strongly recommend saving this video to your favorite so you can reference it a couple months from now when you find yourself in a casino. And you're like, hey, how do I find that one video I watched that one time? In fact, I wouldn't even trust YouTube's favorite system. I would bookmark the page. Heck, take the video and email it to yourself. I don't know. All right, so you want to make way more money than this and maximize how this works. Oh, I am going to blow your mind even harder at the end of this video. Please watch it till the end. It's not for me, it's for you. So does this work in the real world? Well, of course it does, I've been doing this for years, but I thought, well, why not prove it? And remember, watch till the end because about 50% of the most important information is in like the last minute. So this is Superstar Poker. Um, it does other things like Blackjack and Kino, as you can see, but it contains Ultimate X. And I filmed this about 45 minutes after bar closed, there was a whole row of these machines embedded in the bar and they stopped serving, but you can still walk up to it. And they don't care if you play, you just you know, can't order drinks because the bartender's left. But because this was a big drinking and gambling holiday, I don't remember which one actually, I filmed this just as a demo because the, the machines were loaded. We made 2000 bucks that night. So just as an example, I threw in $100. Let's see what happens. All right, we're trying uh, nickel tent line deuces first. Uh, this is the most restrictive machine with the least amount of options, but somebody left 222. That's pretty typical. Oh my gosh, two deuces. Nice. And uh, let's see what we pull. There we go. Made uh, 160 nickels on a 50 nickel bet. Let's go to double double bonus. Yeah, 22233. Three, three. People leave that because they're just like, well, you got to leave sometime. You know, I, I'm not going to wait for me to lose all 10 hands. And they leave something. Uh, that's just how it works. So we're going to 10 cent, 10 line double bonus here. Uh, nothing there. Now we're going to 25 cent. Ooh, 2x, 2x. Not bad. This is deuces wild. There's a deuce. Got lucky there. See if we could pull something. 66% advantage if you're paying attention. Oh my gosh. Forgot I got that. Uh, I shot this a while ago. A straight flush on a double deuce pull. Okay, well that's a hundred quarters. Jeez. But let's keep cruising. I mean, sometimes you get those bomb hands. Nothing there. Uh, we got a single 3x. Okay. And quarters are pretty big money here. Uh, Jack's not great, but let's see if we can pair it up. You never know. Uh, oh, a little pair there. Okay, nice. So there was 15 on 15. That's fine. I'll break even. You know, you can't win every time, but it's not a loss either. Nothing there. Uh, I got a little something here. A little light for quarters. 2x, 2x. But, uh, okay, we're going to go ace jack. Uh, let's see what we get. So I won 20 on 50. Okay, so I lost a little bit there because it just wasn't that great. I didn't get any killer hands. Nothing on 50 cent. Three line deuces. We got 2-2 two, two on 50 cent. Let's go. Two fives. Come on. Pick it up. Let's go. Oh, trips and then two pair. Okay, so that's 25 on 15. 50 cents. Like, we're already up quite a bit. I'm at 124 bucks. And nothing there. Let's see, dollars, we got nothing, nothing, and nothing. And yeah, that's pretty common. People don't usually play $30 hands for very long. But at the end of the night, eh, some people get up and leave, you know, a 2x, 3x there. You never know. Highest we've ever seen is 888 on dollar. We do not know what that person was thinking. They obviously won the hand before, so they had enough money to play it. I, I don't get it. I don't know. What I do know is, that's fine, I'll take their money. And from the casino standpoint, that's fine, take their money. We get our 3% every hand. 
And it's that easy. You can see I, I left with $124.75 on a quick sweep that took no time. So I hit the other countless machines at the bar. I think it was at least a dozen. I don't know. I don't usually go to this casino. And I believe that night I ended up walking between that, the other machines, and the other machines. I think I walked that night with 700 bucks. Took me, I don't know, 45 minutes and I got some drinks and went to the bathroom. So 700 bucks an hour. Pretty good paying job. But wait. Okay, at this point, you're obviously not leaving the video, but watch the video till the end because there's more to it. You want to make even more money? Oh, let's go. So let's go back to videopoker.com. That's what I was playing on. Great site to practice on, by the way. I think it might be owned by IGT, the people who built these machines. So that's kind of cool. So if you go to play and then find games in casinos, and then let's just, I don't know, pick somewhere. All right, well, this is a list of all casinos in Florida that I guess at least IGT is aware of. I think that's how it works. So um, let's just say, oh, I live near the Big Easy in Hallandale Beach. Let's hit view games. Uh, they have All-Star 2, which does contain Ultimate X, and they have five of them. 100 Draw, which is hilarious, but no advantage there. Spin Poker, no advantage there. Good fun. And Ultimate X 3. So eight, we just say vulnerable machines, and it makes it sound like we're hacking them. We're not, but, uh, but me and my crew like to have fun with the terminology. Well, let's say you're in Missouri, and you want to go to, I don't know... This one, oh, that's pretty big. Jeez, 68 machines. Uh, Maristar Casino Hotel in Kansas City. Let's go. Well, let's see what we got. Uh, All-Star 1, I think, doesn't contain Ultimate X. Pretty sure All-Star 2 does. Um, All-Star 3, I think, is the one with the new fancy curved OLED screen. And they've got uh, Ultimate X plus Bonus Streak plus an even more vulnerable game that I don't want to get into right now. But, <laughs> yeah, those are nice. Uh, Ultimate X, they got 11. Superstar 1, uh, that's the one that you just saw with the really funny layout, really old ones. 22 usually means they're embedded in the bar. Uh, and then Ultimate X Wheel Poker. They fixed the vulnerability in there to an extent and i would say the same about bonus streak you can still come out ahead but it's way more complicated so i won't get into that but boy i would live at this casino with this machine count we went into vegas and cleaned them out pretty good too by the way <laughs> little warning about that there are crews that do it professionally and uh they're usually pretty chill but you know you never know but you're more likely if you live outside of Vegas to make more money because there's less people trying to do this because enough people know about this trick that you know some of them can do it like literally full time, like 12 hours a day. And I don't know, I'd rather work in IT like I do, but you know, it's fun. I, like I said, I made a lot of money last year doing this. Now, if I look up my casino, we'll just pretend it's uh, this one. It's not. And I say, no, that's not right. They have more than that. I've seen it. Oh, you want to go for a backup. If you're like, well, the, the two casinos nearest to me, they've got such a pilly little count, you know, it's barely even worth me showing up that I could maybe make, you know, 10, 20 bucks on that. It costs more than that in gas. What you want to do is just take the name and head over to Google, specifically Google Maps. Now they've got, wow, 2,266 photos. Did not see that coming. Wonderful reviews. Every, if you want some good entertainment, read the reviews on a casino anyway. It's based, let me just summarize it. I didn't win. There you go. But uh, what are those right there? Okay, so these machines embedded in the bar very rarely, if ever, show up on that database. I have a theory it's because they're not leased by IGT. They're purchased. Or they hit the end of lease, and then they just bought them out because what are they going to do? Like get them out of the counter and replace them for no reason? They work just fine. So if there's a bar, which you know there is, um, usually these machines will be either Game Kings or Superstar 1 or 2 or 3s. Game Kings do not have Ultimate X. Everything else does. So if you can get a good enough photo that you can see it, well, then you're all set. So just keep scrolling through the photos until you find what you need. Oh, we're getting close. I can't quite make it out from there, though. That does look like a Superstar 2, though. Okay, I'm not going to scroll through all 2,000 photos. Uh, feel free. It is worth your time to do. And if there's not enough photos you don't see it, try the casino's website. I mean, they'll have higher resolution photos, probably. All right, so I just went to Google, typed in casinos in Nebraska. We got these. I clicked on the first one I saw, Ohio. And uh, let's see. We got this nice little graph based on live data from people's Android phones. Isn't that fun? And when it's red, it means it's way higher than normal. So I guess 6 p.m. on, what is this, uh, Thursday, it's usually a lot lower. And the live amount, it's way busier than usual. So I don't know. They must be having a special event or something. You want to know what? Is it a concert? Only like the diamond level super common players, you know, it's an event for them. You don't want to go near that. And they ain't leaving malts either. But a, a big red bar like this makes me say, I am going at about midnight. And then I would obviously check their hours. 
So that real-time graph is huge. I absolutely love this feature because you think, oh, well, it, it's it's this. It's a big camping thing. It's a big, uh, maybe it's this. Well, did people really come out for this? Oh, I don't know. We'll just check. This will tell you without even driving to the casino how many people are there in real time. Love it. Thanks, Google. Uh, if you got any questions, I'll answer them down in the comment section, so feel free. Otherwise, I think I covered the basics. I mean, I, I know the question people are going to ask, because this happened to a person on my crew when they were in Kansas. Uh, they were hitting the machine super quick. They're super bold. I'm just going to get in. I'm going to do it. Uh, this isn't even my home state, let alone my home normal casino. I'm just going to hit all the machines, fast buttons as quick as possible. It's going to look really weird from like 100 feet away with me flickering the screen and not even really playing it. Security guard walked right up to him. And he said, what exactly are you doing? Because that, that just looks like some, they're trying to hack it or do some programming thing with the buttons with binary and who knows. And he just said, oh yeah, I, I'm just checking to see if anybody left like multipliers from the previous hand. And then I just start playing there. So I don't have to like start at zero. It's just like some little thing. And you know, I don't know if there's math to it or superstition or what, but it's just, you know, it's just what I do. And then he like kept doing it. He's like, oh, see, yeah, somebody left a two X on there. See now, so then I just jump in and start playing right there. And the guard's like, oh, okay. Walks away. It's that simple. And honestly, 75% of casino staff and guards and security and all that are going to be like, oh yeah, he's just scaving the machines. Okay, whatever. If they have a policy against it and ask you to leave, just be like, for real, this doesn't affect your bottom line. But I'll walk out. Oh well. Best just not to get caught and raise suspicion in the first place. As fast as I showed you hitting them buttons, uh, it's a lot less obvious to do it really slowly. So if you walk into a casino that only has like three of these machines, you ain't in any hurry, okay? I, I got better things to do with my time. If there's like... 28 machines I got to hit, but if there's three, I'm going to take my time and I'm going to be real slow and gradual in case anybody walking past is like, what is he doing? I'll just look really indecisive. I act like I don't know what I'm doing on the machine and I'm looking at pay tables and stuff. Maybe jump over to Nichols, play a, play one single little three line. Was it like a dollar fifty? Or right in the middle, just pull out your phone and it'll reply to a text or, you know, pull a Pokemon Go, catch some Pokemon. That's what I'm always doing. Uh, if you got the casinos like membership card thing, uh, you know, check your points or your rewards or whatever, punch that you do. There's all this stuff you could do in between. You don't have to just absolutely speed run a machine. If you think somebody's behind you watching or somebody's going to say something or you don't want a confrontation, just whatever, like, or just go full YOLO, who cares? It's one in the morning, nobody's here, let's go. Now that said, I will not do a whole row of eight in a row. That's too obvious even for, for anything at a closed bar that I have no business playing at. Walking up to a machine, pressing a bunch of buttons and then not playing at all and going to the next one. I don't know, dude. The people upstairs might send someone. Just saying. I'll bring two people. We'll kind of mess around. We'll bounce around between, like, if there's two bars. We'll we'll go to the real machines. We'll maybe, you know, jump on, play a little 30-cent spin on some slots and get all excited and act like we're having fun there. We're just, you know, we're, we're big, loud, you know, I'm having fun, ooh, crazy, superstitious people. And people there to win, you know, above the odds are, are not superstitious tapping the screen rubbing the side and having fun and carrying on and wearing a silly shirt and all that and clearly on vacation possibly drunk i act that way all the time every time it's just easier you ain't trying to get away with anything you're just trying to make your life a lot easier if you're like i'm not gonna sit there and evade casino security okay then you just don't want anybody else near you or walking past being like oh what's he doing oh i get it and then they do it and ruin it for you if you're going to be at that casino more often or like repeatedly like multiple times in the year like in other words you live near there so that's about it for the, the Q&A that I usually get when I explain this to a minimal amount of people. Um, why am I doing this? Why would I want more people doing this? I got a normal 8 to 5 job now, and I just can't hit these at 2 a.m. anymore. And I've been doing it for so many years. I made so much money. IRS kicked me in the balls last year, obviously. Uh, I made, I don't know, 40K in hand pays alone. Yeah, you get a 3X Royal. That's a couple bucks. Highest ever one is somebody left an 8X on a machine. Uh, two cards to the Royal pulled the other three. 16,000 bucks. Once in a while, you get it. And that's about it. So showed you where to go, how to go, how to play, everything. Boy, don't you feel bad for the ADD, impatient, greedy people who were like already one foot out the door halfway through the video, left it, thought, ah, oh, I get how this works, and then missed all the good info at the end? Boy. L like, for example, the last thing I'm going to tell you, the most important, which is I think I'll make a part two because there are some slot machines that have some programmatical issues too. Like, a lot of them. Plus, uh, super hot. You can play that in a way where you always win. It's just a little bit harder. Bonus streak. Uh, you can, if you're pretty good at math, uh, always win at that. 
Um, and then the slot machines. So I think I'll make a part two if this gets any kind of traction. So please watch the video twice if you want to review, save it, um, favorite it, whatever. Get it down, take notes, whatever. Cue it up on your phone. Watch it in the parking lot of the casino. I don't care. I just want you to be able to finally get it up on the big guys because it turns out the house doesn't always win. You just have to be smarter than them and rely on programmers like 20 years ago who didn't know what they were doing. Yeah, me and my two software engineering degrees can throw them under the bus. Anyway, thanks for watching. And, you know, if you're like, hey, I want to pay you back. I made thousands of dollars. Oh, I, I should, you know, you taught me how to do it. Ah, uh, what the hell? Uh, into the AM, they make some dope shirts. Um, I'd say every time I wear one to the casino, I win. But every time I go to the casino, I win. And every time I go to the casino, I'm wearing one. But they make some really cool stuff. I can get you 10% off with code DESTHREADS or the link in the description. There you go. That'll help me out. Otherwise, enjoy your money. Go spend it. Have fun. And I'll see you guys next video. Sub if you don't want to miss it.